What's up everybody, this is Mr. Yap. I'm going to show you how to make a beat on BandLab. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that making a beat on your smartphone is way different than making music on the web browser. MacBook, Chromebook, Windows, uh, it is way different when it comes to the Looper Pack. So uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate and click Create. And I'm going to select on Browse Loops. Now, as you can see here, there's three tabs, Browse, Loop, Packs, and Loops. If you click on Packs, these are the packages that you can select. And then Loops are the individual loops that you can listen to. We're going to go ahead and select Browse for now. And let's use the top genre, Lo-Fi. And we'll select Lo-Fi Hip Hop Volume 5. So this is a looper pack, but unlike your mobile device where you can see pads uh, in the, your web browser, if you're using Windows, a MacBook, or Chromebook, you'll see that you'll have all these options. These options are going to be your instruments that you can choose. And I highly recommend when you drop a loop into your channel, uh, make sure you read the file name. So it says here that there's base 1, base 2, base 3, base 4. So choose one of the four and apply it. So I'll just choose the first one. I'm going to go ahead and play it. Double click it. And as you can see, automatically the loop is applied. And then the drums. Double click. And it's automatically added. Okay. And then from there, I'm going to add the effects. Now I'm going to do, drop the keys, and uh, we'll drop the percussion, and then adding the texture. Now that I have a total of six different instruments in six different channels, I'm able to control each instrument by their volume, by their sound, by their loop, to create their timeline. Now I'm going to do a playback. And as you can see here, um, it's not being looped. So in order for us to loop this, we're going to click on this orange faded. And you're going to drag it to three, which is going to be, I believe, a four bar loop. And there you have it. And you can go ahead and mute different channels, lower down different instruments, making sure that one instrument is not empowering over the other, vice versa. So let me go ahead and play around with it and demonstrate. Band lab on computer versus on a mobile phone. The difference with using your mobile app phone versus a web browser on your computer is that you're able to automatically download the sample to your timeline versus your mobile app phone. You're going to have to record it first and then stop it and then go back to the instrument that you want to sample and then record it and stop. So it's very tedious if you use your mobile app. Um, so I recommend going online on a web browser, a computer, and make your music from there. That way your workflow will be more quicker. Extending a loop. Now that we have five seconds of a loop, you might want to say, I want to go ahead and increase it to one minute or maybe two minutes, depending on how uh, confident you are with your, your sample and the song that you want to make. You're going to have to go to each individual channel and choose one sample or one loop and you're going to copy and paste it repetitively until you reach the one minute mark. So I'm going to select the bass. I'm going to be using a keyboard shortcut by hitting Command C on my keyboard 
since I'm using a Mac, and then I'm going to drag the arrow to the end, and I'm going to hit Command V. Now, if you have Windows, it's going to be Control C. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again, and again, Command V again, Command V, Command V, Command V, Command V, Command V, and as you can see, my time is going all the way up, and now I have it at the minute and two second mark. I'm going to go back, select lo-fi hip-hop drums, copy this by hitting Command C, and then Command V to paste, repeat, 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 until I hit the minute and two second mark. Now I'm going to do it with every instrument. Making a song. Now that you have all your loops repetitively copied and pasted, you're going to create your song. So what we're going to do, maybe say the first five seconds, we'll have an intro, and then the, the next five seconds we have the first verse of maybe someone singing or rapping, uh, and then we'll go into the chorus. In the beginning, usually in every song that you hear, you hear an instrument play first before you hear any percussions. So I'm going to select this and press delete, delete, delete. I'm going to leave only the keys for the intro. And then I don't want the drums to come in yet, and I do not want the bass to come in yet. And no percussion. I'll probably leave just the effects and the texture. And then just to get creative with it, I'll just get rid of a few things here. Leaving back the keys. So that way you guys could hear how this song sounds like from beginning to end. There you have it, a lo-fi hip-hop song used one of the looper packs all in within just a few minutes. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.